Welcome to Science TV. My name is Berlin Bez, and this is your uh, this is your uh, reading. And this is what's coming up for you. I'm gonna do Love Life Korea and whatever else that comes along with it. It's not and don't want to do. This is what's going on for for your mama. God bless you, and I can't wait to see the new you. Here we go. From the top of the reading, the cards are talking about that there's some spiritualism that is starting to come back alive. Also, with it, it's going to be some, oh, wow, good cards, good cards. So let's go ahead and break it down. And I want to say happy birthday to you. I don't know if it's going to be around for November. Um, there's going to be some new things that's going to come up with work. And the things that's going to be coming up at work, I feel like they're going to call you or they're going to pull back from your old experience in the situation. And maybe they're going to hire you up on that or, hire, or give you more hours based upon that. But there is more money coming in for you for September, for October and November, okay? Now, when of course talk about relationships, this is the month of October, when they talk about relationships, they talk about you just leaving them at a distance. If you're looking for someone to come in and change and be stable, it's only because you're seeing it that way. I don't see any partners coming in within the first two weeks of October that's going to change things totally for you. I just see where there is a longing for total commitment. Any changes come with freeing your mind, sitting back, chilling, moving on new things. I see you going back and forth and moving very fast in the month of October. Now, there is an individual that's in your card that you're going to have to end the relationship because around the second week, I'm talking maybe the end of next week, you may see this partner come out and confess something, come out and talk about something, or come out and say the things that have bothered him about you. It'll be that, and that'll be done. I think it may hurt your feelings just a little bit, but once again, work keeps coming up. I keep seeing more and more work coming in for you. Your October is all about your old opportunities coming in now, being renewed. So like there may be a resume, they only hired you just for a certain thing, but as they begin to look on and they begin to look more and more and more and more, they're going to be pulling from that and giving you more hours. Like if you've seen you going back and forth and forth and back when it comes down to work-related, the most... <laughs> The first two weeks of the month is going to be very, 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 very high for finance for you. Um, also, when it talks about that, it says keep your eyes on new. It just keeps talking about newness, 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 newness. Now, there is something that's calming down in your cause that's, that's causing a relaxation. And with this relaxation comes changes. And there is not any disappointments. I feel like maybe in October you may have wanted to go back to your old life or maybe want to go back to the way that things used to be. But I feel like things are becoming stable for you by the end of October. You're going to see growth. That's all you're going to see in the month of October career growth there is no significant love situations coming in now if you have met someone new I feel like they're gonna be if you have you may notice that they're a little bit standoffish and if that's not it the partner that you were having the most trouble with is going to come back and talk about the responsibilities I don't feel like he's gonna come at you wrong I feel like he's gonna come at you trying to confess uh, maybe there's been some thoughts and maybe some kind of way he felt as though you were trying to throw him off or get rid of him. I don't know what the confusion is lying, but he may come in and let it be at that. And I feel like he maybe could have hurt your feelings or maybe he did hurt your feelings. Any real growth, any new partners, anything that's going to come into a relationship and change things overnight when it comes down to love is not the month in October. October is getting you back into the workforce pulling you back in, pulling those dollars back out of the bank. I see you expressing yourself and in your cause when they talk about expression, they talk about you being relaxed, uh, chilling, taking your moments. When it's time to go to bed, go to bed. When you have the extra time to sit around and chill, do it. Do not let any new love relationships come in because you could easily get thrown off. Because remember, I feel like these jobs are going to be popping in and popping in. And at some point, you may feel like that's more important than these new developments coming to your life. My name is Belen Best, and that is your October. One moment, why did you November? And thank you for joining me again. This is your November, and this is the most important month is your, did you say it was your birthday month? <coughs> was that November? I don't know which one you said. Well, here you go. So you're going to be ending your October thinking that money has gotten better for you. There's going to be a new gang that's going to come into your life. See, once again, I see this relationship thought and this relationship thought and this relationship thought. This person that's coming back and forth, they may try to ease back into your life towards the end of October going into November and they may show two appearances. 
And when cards talk about two appearances, they, they show a consistency. And this person could have lied, 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 lied. They're going to stick to it. Whatever they told you in October, they're going to round it around again in November, trying to convince you, trying to not make you so upset with them, wanting you to look at things in a new direction and maybe give them some unexpected chance. Spiritualism around you with choices, meaning whatever you do with that will be on you. Once again, opportunities and work and money is going to come in the second week of November. I see you going back and forth with someone in your property about a decision. By the second week in <clears throat> November, there will be a decision made about your property matter. I feel like chances has been taken and there could be some kind of approval, but you will have to move, okay? Um, thinking about, you know, you're going to have to calm down. Things are getting better. Things are getting better. You're out and at the end of November, there may be a day cut or they may cut your hours just a little bit, but that don't let that get to you because you have to understand those last two weeks in November is when... Uh, something happens with property matters, and you and it just just let's just put it like this: you may have to move from somewhere, you may get approved unexpectedly somewhere, and have to move somewhere else, and you're not liking that. And at the same time, you hear they tell you, "Well, don't come in today. Just let it do what it do." You have to think positive because just think about this right here: the day that they let you off, maybe, maybe the day that you need to move. So just embrace that moment. Any changes are for the better. They keep talking about you. Your changes are climbing back up. It's like you were going forward. You have to understand how your cards work. And your cards, cards are in your deck going forward is going backwards. So your cards are going backwards, meaning going forward, okay? That's what's going on in your cards, forward moving, forward moving. So after every move you make, you need to think about the next step. You have to pre-plan for the next month. When you want to do this, think what you're going to do next. When you want to do this, you got to think what you want to do next. You're building your, it's coming back. All the negative or whatever it is that was, was around you, I really did feel it was all in emotions. It was all in thought. And those things have been released. They should have already been released by September the 4th. So you're going to be seeing this where your area was lagging. You're going to see it pick back up. There was no downfall. Everything was about decisions, decisions, decisions. So now the decisions are made. Now you're going to start living those things out in October. I, love is not your friend in October, but there's a possibility of a rekindlement if you want it. Now, I do see this person staying away from you, but I do see you having feelings. You want him to change the way you feel about the situation. It is what it is. He hurt you. Every time you think about it, it's a hurting feeling for both months. So when, when you know, there was spiritualism around that. So when it talks about spiritualism being behind it, that's an open decision. That's free will. Whatever you want to do in that situation is what you uh, want to do. Because one thing that you do need to remember is the history and the relationship. Okay. Other than that, things are all about money and career for you. And there are changes in properties towards the end of uh, November. It says for in your Christmas season, there's going to be a new person that's going to come around with a child. You're going to meet a lady that has a child. You'll be giving back some kind of way. Um, I feel like you're going to be relocating cities or counties or city limits. Uh, I see you crossing over from one street to the other street. That's where work. I see you back in the hospital again, working, going back and forth. I don't know if you ever supervised anything before, but you will get back into that in February 2018, but it will be with three or four people, okay? So, well, things are going to start changing. All this stuff that's going on is all about how strong you are in decisions. October is so good for you. You just have to pay attention to what you really want. And that's the income part of because love, you need a rest. And that's what you're going to get. But somebody just won't let go. But they're not going to be stalking. And they're not going to be all over you. They're going to be more of trying to convince you. It is what it is. You have been hurt. Handle it. I want to take you that four times. You have been hurt, but handle it. Um, money is good. Endings is good because every ending has you rethinking things again. This is a good time for you. This is the time to take your breaks when you need to take them. This is the time when you see things in. Take advantage of the next moment. If something is cutting out, it's because something is trying to cut in. Just remember that if you have a day off and you're supposed to be moving, take advantage of that time frame. So you're really moving into a new page and take your time with it. Do not incorporate any new love. I know that you want a relationship where you feel like you're more in control and someone that has a little bit more peace in their life and that honors you. Those individuals are not around you right now. You are regrowing again. You, it's like there's a seed in the water. You've planted the water. Now you're regrowing it. Now you can regrow it the way that you want to grow it. So when you regrow it this time or any time or however you want to grow, you will see that you are the one that will end 
that was in control of your growth. And whatever happens is because you laid the seed for those things to grow, okay? So responsibility has to be our own, just like responsibility has to be mine. My name is Belinda Bess, and this reading was all about career growth. That's it. It's all about getting money back in your pocket. That's what your cards are saying. God bless.